हेलो एवरी वन फ्यू डेज बैक आई हैव मेड अ वीडियो ऑन टू दी फर्स्ट वैल्यू एंड दी लास्ट वैल्यू कॉन्सेप्ट सो आई होप यू हैड गॉन थ्रू डैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इट वॉज ऑन टू दी एडवांस सीक्वल कॉन्सेप्ट इन टू दिस वीडियो आई एल बी कवरिंग दी एन एथ वैल्यू एंड दी एन टाइल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग दीज टू कॉन्सेप्ट इन टू मच मोर डिटेल विद दी हेल्प ऑफ आर डेटा सेट now if you remember into that particular video of the first value and the last value i was also explaining the nth value but the nth value function it does not support into the sql server management studio so i have found an alternative and i'll be discussing this into this video head so i'll be using the similar data set i have used on to that particular video i'll be moving forward with the same data set here but here i'll be running my code on to this online website which is mycompiler.io so i'll be providing the link of this particular website into the description box of this video i have imported uh, my entire data set into uh, this particular website here so you can see i was working on to this data set if you remember on to the first value and the last value concept and i have imported written the code to get uh, this data set into this particular website here so i've got i've written the code to get uh, this data set i'll just run the code here so you can see i'm getting my output my entire output and it is working all fine so i'll be providing the entire code into the description box of this video also so that you can go and do it on your own but before that let us study some detailed concepts some advanced level concepts into much more detail so if you remember what was this data set all about so you can see i'll just move to my excel sheet the column b i have the state name into the column c i have the date and into the column d i have the sales now what does this data set is all about so let's say there was a book fair which took place into all these three states which are mentioned into this data set that is bihar jharkhand and maharashtra and this particular book sale book fair was from 1306 to 2206 so between these dates the book fair was taken place and into the column d you can see the total number of books which were sold i wanted to get to know like what is the total number of books which were sold on to the very first day what was the total number of books which were sold on to the last day so we have seen into my previous video into this video i'll be seeing the how many books or how many number of books which were sold into the nth day so i just want to calculate let's say i want to know what is the total number of books which were sold on to the fourth day of the book sales and i want to get uh, this particular data into my next column next column i mean the column next to the sales column so let us see how to get uh, this data here so i'll be writing the code for this so i've done a select star and i'll be writing here the nth value and from which column i want to get the nth value i want to get the nth value from the sales column and which is the date which i want to get the nth value so the date is from the fourth day of the book sales which have been taken place so i want to get the fourth day value so i'll be writing here four now i'll be providing the over clause here so over so i'll be partitioning my data set onto the basis of the states column so if you want to know why we are using the partition by clause what is its use so i made a detailed video on that also you can check my advanced sql playlist for that so i'll be providing here over partition by i'll be providing a state and i'll be ordering by onto the basis of the what is the column name i'll just see here it is the date column and that's all is required but before that i'll be doing an unbounded preceding sorry rows between unbounded preceding and unbounded following why i'm using this i have explained this particular concept also into very much detail into my rows between video you can check my playlist for advanced sql to learn all these advanced level sql concept and i believe all these concepts will be very much clear after that so let us execute this code what is the output which we are getting here okay there is this spelling error here 
one more thing this date thing is a predefined value from before so that is why predefined keyword from before so that is why i have just renamed this as a column name that is not a keyword so i'll just provide an extra year let us run the code again you can see into all these column here i have got the number of sales which had happened on to the fourth day of the sales for each of the state for example in bihar you can see on to the fourth day of the sales 13 14 15 and 16 so 1 2 3 4 fourth day of the sales 653 books were sold so you can see for the entire column i'm getting 653 similarly if i'm come to jharkhand state 939 books were sold i'm getting 939 for the entire column similarly it has got the same value for the maharashtra i'm getting 834 for the entire column now from here you can see i've got the fourth day value now let us say i want to see whether the sales on the fourth day has increased from the first day of the sales is this happened for any of the state or not so let us see how to get uh, this value here so what i'll do is first of all i'll be getting so i'm getting the nth the fourth day value i've got and i want to see whether this value has increased from the first day sales so i'll be subtracting this value from the first day sales value and you have seen how are we getting the first day sales value so i'm getting this using the first value concept so instead of nth value i'll do a first value i'll remove this four and that's all let us execute this code here so you can see i'm getting a negative value here i'm getting a positive value here and here also i'm getting a positive value so wherever i'm getting a negative value what does that indicate that simply indicates that the book sales have been gone down on the fourth day of the sales from the first day of the sales i'm getting a positive value that means that the book sales had increased from the first day of the sales so friends i hope the nth value concept is very much clear now let us move forward to the second concept and that is the n tile concept now what does this n tile concept simply means let us say i want to divide my entire data set into certain groups and these groups are on to basis of the number of rows which are present into my data set let us say i have 12 rows in my data set and i want to divide all these 12 rows into group of 3 so number of groups which i'll be getting will be 4 because 12 divided by 3 is 4 so the number of groups which i've got is 4 so from this particular group which i'm getting all these groups which we are getting will be getting using the n tile concept now you will tell me masters what is the use so what is the practical use of this particular concept we will be seeing this with the help of the same data set here so let us see first of all what is the end tile thing here what is the syntax and how do we write that so before that we will be seeing the number of days in which the book fair has been taking place so it took from 13 to 22 so total number of days is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the number of days in which book fair had taken place is the 10 days let us see how to use the entire concept into this same concept only because earlier i have told like the entire is worked on the total number of rows which are present so here we'll be partitioning we'll be not be taking our entire data set as a whole rather we'll be partitioning our data set onto the basis of the state column similarly which we have done here so let us see how what is the syntax for entire First of all i'll just write here a select i'll get the entire rows here i'll be writing the end tile and into this bracket i'll be writing the number of rows number of groups which i want to divide my data set so i want to divide each of my partitions let's say i'm creating partition onto the basis of the state column so for bihar one partition will be created for jharkhand another partition will be created similarly for maharashtra another partition will be created but within this partition i want to divide all these partitions into certain groups so we'll be using the end tile so how many groups i want to divide this partition so i want to divide this partition into two three groups let's say i'll be just be writing here three after this i'll be providing the 
over and over partition i'll be writing because i want to first of all partition my data set onto the basis of the state column and here is the main thing now so we need to order by so on to what basis i want to order my data set so totally depends on the problem which we are solving so let's say i want to get to know like and i want to divide each of the row data set which is present here into my data set here i want to divide and i want to mark for each of the row the sales as high medium and low for each row i want to get this data set for each of the state so first of all my data set will be partitioned onto the basis of state so let's say for jharkhand my data set has been partitioned and for each of the rows here i would just want to mark each of the row onto the basis of the number of sales which has happened so i'll be providing a value here so on the basis of the sales which has happened i'll be marking all these rows as the number of sales which took place was high or the number of sales which took place was low or the number of sales which took place was medium or not so we'll be seeing this so i'll be ordering my data set on the basis of the sales column and this will be on the basis of the descending why i'm writing descending we'll be seeing this after i'm getting the output so i'll be able to explain this into much more detail and from book sales let us execute uh, this particular query here so i'll just run the code uh, my data set has been organized onto the basis and i've used the entire function you can see one two three values are coming up here because i have divided my data set first of all i have partitioned my data set and then onto the partitions i have divided the data set onto the three groups so you can see three groups are coming up one one group is present here two group is present here and three groups are present here so all these are grouped on the basis of the entire functions which we have given here now let us see why we are doing this so this is the same thing which i am i was telling about so you can see i have ordered my data set on the basis of the sales and also on the descending order so wherever the sales is high the row has been marked as one similarly the sales wherever it is higher the row has been marked as one so one means the sales were high two means the sales were medium and three means the sales were the lowest onto all the states so instead of one two and three i want to make this into much more clear so i want to replace one with high two with medium sales and three with low sales so let us see how to do this so i'll just be providing this into a sub query also i'll be renaming this column as n so i'll do a select i'll do a star case when let us say i'll just rename this query as a a dot n is equal to 1 then i'll be marking this as high sales as you can see if from my data set when a dot n is equal to 2 then it will be mid medium sales and similarly else this will be low sales and as sales value and from this data set i want to bring this to the next row and uh, when i'll be running this query you will get to know like what is the output which i want so instead of star let me give this as id comma a comma state i think that's all and at the last i'll be giving the sales that's all let's just run the code comma is missing so i'll just run the code here so you can see for each of the dates or the state for each of the state i'm getting the sales whenever there was high so i'm getting the high sales 
whenever the sales were into the medium level i am getting a medium sales and the sales whenever it was low i am getting a low sales and using the entire function we are just dividing our entire data set into certain values values in the sense so for example here i have given three entire into the bracket i have wrote three so the three divided my data set into three parts so for example this has happened here and onto the three parts i just wanted to mark my data set as high sales medium sales and low sales how did i do this so i did this using the order by sales function and i ordered this onto the descending order so friends this was all about the entire and the nth value concept so into the previous video it did not work onto the sql server management studio so i just wanted to bring the out this video to make you all understand what are these function and how do we use it into different problem set which we encounter so friends i hope you had found this video very much useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't i will be bringing into much more detailed concept into the advanced sql that can help you to grab your internship or full time roles opportunity into the analytics or the data science field so meet you in the next video thank you so much bye